welcome to this video playing Alexa from Israel he's one of the real old timers of ICC he's, he's playing there for like I don't know <laughs> okay if I'm saying old timers uh, it's, it's like like me playing like 15 years or something I'm just quickly checking he's got some old stats here from 2000 best blitz rating is from 2000 <laughs> 13 years ago Okay, so we have um, a Nimzo, the Rubinstein variation with bishop d3 and knight e2. This is um, quite an interesting way for black, uh, sorry, for white <laughs> to play. Um, yeah, going back here. It's an isolated queen pawn position with um, the slightly unusual twist of uh, a knight on e2. So um, I think taking and e5, this was the recipe that I always uh, recommended in uh, my book. I mean, in the. <laughs> in the right now being in the works book it's not finished yet but this is um, something I'm working on but the, the book is um, about um, let's say 90% um, about 90% finished so um, the release date which is scheduled for November December something like that is probably still um, realistic but um, okay, I'm not quite sure about um, what final things uh, need to be done because it's my first book, so I don't really know so much about the, the fin final steps in, in, in processing, like printing and so on, how long this takes. Okay, but back to the game here. Quite an interesting position. I've taken on c3, played e5. And now I really like to play f5. It's it's an aggressive move, but I want to make sure that the knight is not coming to e4. And I have a good center here. Uh, it's uh, quite nice. The question is c4. Uh, I would have liked to prevent c4, but uh, maybe I I never had the chance to do so. Okay, on c4 I want to play bishop a6 at least. Yeah, I'm threatening on c3. Hmm. I wonder about e3, if this is a possibility. Hmm. There's some way to improve my position. If you, if I would be able to <clears throat> prevent c3, c4, it would be absolutely great. But b5 is not a playable move, I think. No, not, not really. Okay, so let's go here. This is also not bad. Intending to to do this here. Gaining a tempo and then knight b7 to d6 or to c5. I don't know, bishop a4. Should I have prevented that? Yeah, I, I want I want to catch up a bit on the clock so playing a bit quicker so to c5 or to d6 both are looking nice c5 is uh, the more aggressive way to go wow Hmm. 
Okay, let's open up. God, I control the e-file. This is why F4 surprised me. His pawn is really not dangerous. It's um, nicely blockaded. And uh, my idea is just trying to invade on e3. So rook e5, rook e8. Rook e3 coming. Or rook e2. Hmm. Or f4. Yeah, this is actually a good f4. Just pushing pawns. This one, okay, queen h5. Yeah, I can prepare this. It's, he, he cannot really do so much. Queen to h5. Hmm. But it's it's okay. I can play queen h6. Okay, he doesn't. He plays what? Retreating seems very weird. This looks uh, just like a big game for black for nothing. I forgot about this move. I simply forgot that he can play that. Before that, white is just completely outplayed for for absolutely nothing. Morning. <sighs> Utter nonsense, really. Check. 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 All right. Black yeah, resigns. Just an idiot. How can I spoil this? I mean, this is like, yeah, complete, completely out over. Yeah? The white is just busted in this position. I can do whatever I want, except uh, probably what I played. Uh, let's let's check how to how to do this. Yeah, I'm always. Um, I'm really pissed at myself to, to why not win this? I mean, I play like 30 moves completely outplaying this guy. Uh, he's, he's just, he cannot even move anything. <laughs> but you, you need to be precise. 
which I failed to do. I, I, I had I had just overlooked h4. Yeah. Well, okay. The if you just give it to a comp, it, it it's it's just knight e4 is minus three. But this is not a very human move. Ah, okay. If you look at this, white is busted. I cannot prevent even this here. Just I'm just attacking for for nothing. But uh, okay, you don't really want to give this excellent uh, bishop a uh, knight against the stupid bishop. But I've, I overlooked h4. Queen c4 still wins. Yeah. This yeah this is good for white now. Yeah, and here I'm I'm completely uh, losing the threat, of course. Yeah, I overlooked h4 simply. And this is the easiest. And now he cannot prevent the g pawn from advancing. White is, is, is he cannot move. It's full of weaknesses. And um, yeah, he played played a very strange game here. F4 is just a disaster. I mean, just a disaster. Giving up basically the game. I'm, I'm having the e file. I have the dark squared weaknesses. Uh, the excellent knight on c5. And after that, it's uh, it's it's very nice actually until I until I fell apart, missing the h4 move. Yeah, knight e4. Hmm. Yeah, knight e4 is the easiest. I can even play a uh, rook g3. I mean, probably uh, this is yeah. He can still play h4. Hmm. Yeah. Shouldn't uh, allow that really, h4. I forgot about this move. Hm. Alright, an interesting game nevertheless. Thanks for watching.